Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm doing another video on YouTube. I'm super excited because, if you have not guessed already, it's a carousel um, circus theme. Not carousel, circus theme. So um, I have some couple of cool props that I have in my, in my inventory and these are some new containers that remind me of circus and then um, Ferris wheel, right? So uh, I'm gonna do really cool arrangements in here. If anyone doesn't, okay, there's two sides. I have two friends. I have friends, I shouldn't say two friends, I have lots of friends. I have some friends who are like freaked out by circus and then I have friends of mine who love the circus. I'm a little freaked out, I must say, but as a little kid, I used to go to the circus a lot. We lived across from a circus, uh, uh, a stadium in uh, Armenia. And so I have a lot of childhood memories of elephants and tigers and monkeys and all that kind of stuff. So in this video, I am going to inspire you to think out of the box and do some really cool arrangements uh, using the circus props and themes and containers. And uh, it's gonna be really colorful, uh, but not colorful <coughs> as you think it's going to be. I'm gonna use mainly reds and burgundies and uh, maybe some browns in there. And so I'm gonna go and here, let me pick out some stuff from here that might work. And so that we can start utilizing these. And of course, when you take out one, you take out a couple other blooms in here. I know this is a little on the pink side, but it's gonna work well. I'm gonna put these, because they look a little dried out. I don't know if we even put these in water. But anyways, nevertheless, still looks cool like this, because it dried out beautifully. I'm gonna use the grape leaves, which they're kind of a burgundy tone. And then let's use these. And then definitely these reds here. Got a lot going on today, huh? A lot of stuff. There's a corn flour here, or a straw flour, not corn flour, straw flour. Now that I have all my flowers around me that I'm gonna use, I have some dried, fresh, and preserved, I'm gonna take my clippers, um, and I'm gonna start with this. And what I did, I've lined um, a bunch of foam inside this wood container, wood tray. Um, there's a cellophane and then there's the pre-soaked um, foam. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with all these grape leaves and I'm just gonna tightly go inside and cover the whole base of these. I'm gonna start with these insertion. Go ahead and kind of do it on the sides of it. It's like if it was growing. And this is my final flower for this. And then I'm gonna move this over here. I'm gonna add a little bit of this corally red. And I'm gonna go back and do some coffee beans. And look at that color. The flower that I didn't bring that I was going to this reddish, I don't know what these are called, but. How are the colors? The colors are nice. Might add a little bit of yellow on the bottom. 
So now it feels summery or fallish, autumnal. And then I'm gonna take my preserved leaves, these brown ones. I'll look at it later from the front um, and fix it. But I think this is done for right now. And look how amazing this came out. I think it's stunning, so stunning. What I've done with this is taken a loamy dish, uh, a plastic, uh, dish that's already uh, pre-soaked with floral foam and taped. And I'm basically taking uh, these leaves so I can extend it and cover that whole top part of um, what is this carousel, the cage for the circus animals. So the scabioso is almost finished with that. Inserting that is fun too. This is great. Here, let me move this here. Let me try to not pretend that I know what I'm doing. Ha ha ha. Of course I know what I'm doing. Even this gives character to it. I know it doesn't make sense when I say this and people are like, what is up with that? But this little thing gives character to the whole arrangement. One right here and then I'm just gonna put this on top of the cage and this looks already gorgeous. And uh, the last of all arrangements I'm gonna try to do really, really, really um, simply, right? So I'm going to start with doing these and this. And these are already pre-soaked and ready to go. So this is finished as well. Now I'm gonna go back into this large one and taking all my straw flowers. I'm gonna get done with bigger flowers but it's taking up a little bit more time than I want it to. Yeah, let me cut. Okay, I'm almost finishing this up, almost. It's taking a little bit longer than I thought it was. Because I'm inserting a lot of flowers in here. And this one's done as well. And then we're gonna do the last one, which is, let me move this. It's the coffee beans. I'm almost finished with the coffee beans. And I'm in love with this as well. Here. Here, done. Um, I'm gonna clean up the table. I'm gonna style this and you're gonna see amazing circus themed uh, uh, ideas and fun tablescapes for you to do. Let me go clean this up. I am Again, surprised at myself of how amazing this turned out. The colors on this, the usage of browns and the dark plum burgundies and uh, the bright reds and the orangey corals with the yellows, amazing. I can't believe that I took the simple flowers, even the straw and the Bavardia and the uh, coffee beans and made three selections for your eye to rest a little bit. Again, uh, I hope you're following me on all social media. If you're not, please do so. I love you guys for tuning in every week, sending those encouraging comments. I do watch them all. Make sure you're in tune of what's going on on our community page on YouTube. 
I love you guys and peace out.